I grew up in an LDS home. My parents taught me and raised me while I was baptized when I was eight. I got the priesthood when I was 12 and was on track with all my ordinations and all that. And I, I tried to do the right thing um, my whole life. And when it came time for me to serve a mission, um, it was kind of reflex for me. It was, I always expected that I would serve a mission and it was, I figured, the right thing to do. It was fall of 2011 and I got my call mid-December. It was right before finals. And finished that semester, didn't return to school for win the winter semester, and went back home to Brigham City. And I had about three months until March 14th was the day that I would re report to the MTC. <clears throat> and over that time, I had a lot of time to think about the upcoming change of going on a mission and what that would require of me. And I started to realize that I, I would describe it as I never, I didn't have a testimony. That I had been riding on the momentum of my parents, which I'm, I'm now eternally grateful for, but I didn't have my own conviction of the truth of the gospel. <clears throat> and so I started pondering, questioning, studying, trying to figure out whether it was worth it to me to continue with my decision to go on a mission because I had already received my call. And about one month before I reported to the MTC, a friend of mine um, in Brigham City, her name is Abigail Chambers, she invited me to come to Institute. And it wasn't until she invited me that I realized that I wasn't going to Institute because at BYU it's standard curriculum to have religion classes. So I hadn't thought about it, but I was like, yeah, I'll go to Institute. So I went to Institute, um, had a good time. The, the second, I think it was the second um, Institute class that I went to, we had a mini testimony meeting. And our Institute, institute teacher said, okay, open time for testimonies. Anyone who wants to share, come up. And a young woman stood up. I don't know her name. I don't even remember what, he, what she looks like anymore. But I'll f forever thank her for what she said that day. She, said, she got up and said, I was one of those people who never knew that I had a testimony. And then there was one day that I knew that I had it all along. It wasn't quite exactly how it connected in my mind what I thought in response to that was I could look back at times in my life when I paid my tithing or was honest or when I wasn't honest and I could see in action all of the gospel principles that I had been taught and cause and effect, I could see the principles in action, I knew that it was true. Without having thought about it for the whole first 19 years of my life, but I had the experiences as a foundation, and then when I looked back at it, I knew that it was true. Now, I, I thank my, my parents for that, for good, good friends, um, Sunday school teachers, my priest quorum advisor, priesthood advisors in general, just everyone who supported me in doing what's right. Because the experiences in 19 years culminated in that one moment to reveal to me that I had a testimony all along. That I knew that it was right, and because I knew it was right, I also knew every good thing in my life was because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when I realized that, all of a sudden, I wanted to serve a mission. Like, no one could stop me from serving a mission because I wanted everyone else to have the good in my, that I had in my life for them too.